Hi Church, my name is Lucy West and I am um, attend Manchester Central and I'm part of the Audacious Kids team. Today I'm going to carry on the theme of miracles and tell you a little bit about um, my two biggest miracles, which are my two children. <laughs> so my husband and I, Linz, um, we grew up around young people and children and in fact my family fostered 107 and two of my siblings um, are adopted. So we always wanted a football team when we got married. So we began to try, but a few years and many tests later, we were no closer to getting pregnant and pretty full of despair at this point. We tried three attempts of IVF and they both, they all three of them failed. Um, now, finally, sort of about seven years in, we tried, turned to adoption. And even then we found that we had to walk quite a difficult road of grieving, you know, grieving having our own children, if, if you know what I mean. But the good thing, good news is, is that our miracles did arrive, that God brought our two beautiful chosen children to our home. And we are, we're so grateful, literally daily, we are so grateful for receiving these miracles and all the answers to prayer that came with them. But during this wait, I felt like I'd lost all sense of who I was. There was, on times there were, the brokenness just made me feel, you know, it was utterly consuming every part of my life. And with that um, came a deep sense of like shame and feeling like you've missed the boat, you've, you've got something wrong. I used to constantly feel that I was now walking in plan B, that I'd messed up, um, I'd missed what God had for me. And actually now this was, you know, not not the right thing. Um, this is before my children arrived, but it felt like I was just doing the wrong, you know, w constantly walking the wrong road, that it didn't quite fit. It was really tricky. But how wrong I was, <clears throat> God has proved to us since then, time and time again, that actually we are walking or we were walking in plan A from the beginning of our struggles right until our children arrived and we're still in his plan A. The, one of the verses that really helped me through this was Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. He talks about plans a lot in just that one verse. And the truth is that if we follow Jesus, if we love Jesus, then we are con consistently in his plan A. We can't go to the left or the right because God does not have a plan B. His, his plan is plan A. Now that plan may be incredibly difficult. It might be messy. It might be incredibly painful. But I believe that in the middle of that pain, God has got this jewel for you to like unravel. As you go through the pain, only you can unravel and reveal that beautiful you know, miracle in the, in the middle of it. So I hope this encourages you today that you that God is still in charge. And if you believe and you have asked, then you are in God's plan A, however tricky it might feel. I pray for this week to be full of revelations of God's love for you.